So today I wanted to um, do a couple back to school videos and this is going to be a how I organize my binders. Um, so basically I like to color co coordinate all of my classes and I have four academic classes, two extracurricular classes, and lunch. So um, that's usually my whole schedule. So I am going to go ahead and get started. So this is my first binder and it is a green binder and this is for my science class. And um, I write it here on the top corner and I also write it here on the sides because whenever I'm looking in my locker I like to know which binder I grab before I make a mistake so I like to make sure that I have it here on the side. And, um, yeah, so on the inside, uh, well, first off, I got these binders at Walgreens. All of these binders are from Walgreens, and they are all one-inch binders, so yeah. And um, so the first thing is this. This is a green notebook, and it is in a different shade, but it was the only green notebook that I could actually find, and this notebook is from Walmart. And it is a one subject college ruled spiral notebook and this was ninety seven cents from Walmart. So yeah, it just looks like this. And in the top corner I just wrote science in a permanent black marker. And then I have this five star two pocket plastic folder that just looks like this on the inside. And then I have the tab dividers, which just look like which just looks like this. This is a red tab divider, and these actually have pockets, but they only have pockets on one side. And I got these this set of tab dividers from Walmart, and they have five tabs, and they have one pocket on each tab. And then here are the little tabs that I'm supposed to write on. So there's basically just a red one, a green one, a blue one, a purple one, and an orange one. And then in the back, I have um, some extra lined paper, just like that. So, yeah, and I did not write on my divider tabs yet because I didn't, I don't really know how my science teacher wants me, or actually I don't know how any of my teachers want me to organize my tab dividers, so yeah. And then I have my social studies one, and my social studies is a, um, is basically just a mix of yellow and orange, because I could not find an orange binder, and I could not find a yellow folder. So I just kind of mixed and matched it up. So this is a yellow binder and it says social studies here. Right there. And then it also has it on this side. So for the notebook, this is a little different. But it just looks like this and I got this from Walmart. And it's really cute. It does have some orange and yellow on it, but it's not completely orange or yellow. It has some flowers and leaves on it. And yeah, it's just college rolled notebook paper. And then I have an orange plastic five star folder. This looks like that. And then I have a set of tabs that are the exact same as the ones that were in my binder. And there's just five. Um, and then here in the back, I have this, like, pouch pocket thing that I got from Walmart, and these are called press button storage pockets. Yeah, um, and I just got one in a black, and basically it has a button on it, and then I just have some graphic paper in it, because I don't like, um, I don't like to have to deal with these hooks. I don't like to open them or shut them because I think that they make too much noise. So what I like to do is just have my binder sideways and use it like an accordion folder on my lap. And then I can just 
flip to this page real quick, unbutton it, and um, take the piece of paper out, and it'll just be like a breeze, you know. It's not going to be too hard to take that out. So that's what that binder looks like. And let me put my notebook in there. Okay. Then I have my mask binder, which is a really, really pretty blue color, and it's mask right there, and then on the side as well. And um, this binder is a little bit different from all of them. So, so this notebook is from Walgreens, and it is a wide rolled notebook. The reason why I get wide rolled for math is because I don't really mind because I don't really write in that class. I just write the numbers down for my assignment, so, but it's really pretty, it's 100% recycled, and I just thought it was really cute, I've never seen anything really like this before, so I went ahead and got it, it reminds me sort of like a little collage, so yeah, and then I have this, this thing here, right here is like a 10 inch ruler, plus it is a three hole puncher, so I can hole punch all of my papers, especially for math, because my math teacher likes to print out our notes for us, and he doesn't hole punch them, so I like to hole punch my papers. Um, and then I have this blue five-star pocket folder, two-pocket folder that's plastic. And then I have... And then I have these tab dividers. And these are basically just the same thing. They're plastic, and they have five tabs, except they have pockets on both of the sides. So there's two pockets per tab, and um, the, the colors are a little bit different. There's like a green, a dark blue, light blue, a like purplish pink, and then like a reddish pink. So yeah. And then in the back. I have another one of these binder pouch things. There's lined paper in the front, and then there's graph paper in the back of it. So yeah, that's how I organize that binder. Okay, and then my last binder is my communication arts binder, other um, otherwise known as language or writing or reading or literature class. Um, but we call it, at my school, we call it communication arts, but I just have it here as calm arts. And it just looks like this. It's like a really pretty hot pink, and I am absolutely in love with it. So, yeah. So, first I have this pink spiral one subject notebook, also 97 cents from Walmart. And I just have calm arts written up there in the corner. And then I have a baby pink five star plastic two pocket folder. And then I have these super, super cute tab dividers. And I, I thought these were really cute. And I went ahead and got them. I know they're not going to be very durable, but I just went ahead and got them anyways just because I'm that kind of person. Um, they're cute. Okay, so they're flowers. Stripes, polka dots, plaid, and leaves. Aren't, aren't those adorable or what? I think they're really cute. And then I have another pouch here that's also black. And I have lined paper, college ruled paper in there as well. So yeah, that's basically how I keep... Um, all of my binders and how I organize all of my binders together. Um, so yeah, and I definitely suggest that when you have different colored binders or different designed binders, make sure you put some sort of label or something here on the side so whenever they're in your locker, then you can easily pick out the ones that are for a certain class. So yeah. Um, so I hope this guys helped you in some sort of way of how to organize your binders or your um, binder or whatever. So um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.